Hi guys, it's Lucy and welcome back to another video. So over the next couple of weeks, students are going to be moving into student accommodation, um, which is a very daunting process when you do it for the first time. It might be the first time you move away from home. It might be the first time you're away from your family for such a long period of time. So it can be quite a daunting process. So I thought I'd give some tips on how to make the process a little less daunting um, and a bit more organised. So I've got five main tips for you and yeah, let's get on with the video. This video isn't going to talk about like what things to bring with you to uni, anything like that. It's literally how to be ready for certain situations within accommodation like fire drills, um, more fire drills, safety just things like that um which you don't tend to think about when moving into accommodation number one is put a coat and a pair of shoes by your door and alongside that always keep your key near the door this is because students like to set fire alarms off and if you've got your shoes and your coat ready it means you can just quickly grab them and get outside when the fire alarm goes off um, I've seen students before go outside without any shoes on, for me personally I've forgotten a coat before and you can be stood outside for a very long time so having that prepared means you're prepared for the situation. Alongside that with the key, some accommodations do charge you if you get locked out of accommodation or locked out your room so if your key is always by the door you're always going to remember to take it with you. Um, which should hopefully hopefully prevent you locking yourself out of your room. Um, and it also means for the example of a fire drill, you can quickly grab your key as well and take that out with you or a fire alarm, not necessarily a fire drill. Um, especially if an alarm goes off at 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning, which has happened to me, you're in such a daze waking up to a massive noise like a fire alarm. You kind of forget what you need and where, like you just forget where you are as well. So having it all by the door just makes it 10 times easier. The next thing is get yourself a pair of slippers, a pair of indoor shoes, just something to put on your feet. Um, I know some students like to walk around barefoot, you know, socks on, stuff like that. But for me personally, I prefer having something on my feet. Um, depending on who you live with, not everyone's going to be a problem, but some people do leave food on the floor, they leave water on the floor, it, it's just inevitable in some situations. So, next thing is get yourself a pair of slippers, a pair of indoor shoes, just something to put on your feet. Um, I know some students like to walk around barefoot, you know, socks on, stuff like that, but for me personally, I prefer having something on my feet. Um, depending on who you live with, not everyone's going to be a problem, but some people do leave food on the floor, they leave water on the floor, it, it's just inevitable in some situations. So if you have shoes or something on your feet, it's less likely to be a problem. The third thing is get some film for your window. This is especially um, a tip for you if your room is going to be on ground floor. Uh, it just gives a bit of added privacy and you're less likely to going to get people looking in. Um, obviously this isn't just for uh, people on ground floor, if you feel safer with it on your window on any floor, go for it. Um, if it makes your life a little bit easier, being away from home and being in accommodation, go for it. You can get it on Amazon, eBay, you can probably get it in some um, hardware shops and stuff like that. But yeah, it is a great um, security feature for your room and you can get some really nice designs. The next thing is when you do start placement, and uh, obviously this is specific to healthcare students um, and other people who go on placement who work shifts, put a sign on your door to make sure people know you're sleeping. Um, it doesn't always work, but if, say, cleaner, maintenance, anyone comes in and sees that on your door, they're going to know um, to be a little bit more quieter. Um, it doesn't have to be a rude note or anything, just to state the facts that you're on shift, you're on night shift, whatever, and, you know, it... it provides a bit more respect towards you, um, you'd hope and fingers crossed it does. <laughs> Finally, when you move into accommodation, you should usually get some sort of welcome pack and within that should be some key phone numbers, key emails and things like that. Make sure all of those are on your phone for in an emergency um, situation, they're there ready for you. 
Um, for example, for us personally in this accommodation, we get a security number to ring. So put that in your phone and it's there in certain situations where you might need it. Along with emails, put them in your notes on your phone so they're always there. Um, it just makes the whole process a lot easier and yeah. So those are just some quick tips on how to kind of settle into student accommodation. Um, if you've got any more, um, leave them down below. Likewise, if you've got any other questions, leave them down below. Um, hopefully those are of some help and it's just things I've picked up along the way. So yeah, I've been in accommodation, I'm in my second year in student accommodation, so I've learned a couple of bits what I'll be in here. So yeah, if you like that video at all, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in a video very, very soon. Bye guys.